me explain. your blood what? is open we both see each other alive again
been prepared. Samurai what handled Shibuya? How do you like this building, huh? Home of the rich and famous, and all owned by the Ashurakai. <laughs> Not impressed, are you? Uh, fine. Take the elevator to the 52nd floor. Mr. Time is waiting there with your friend. I expected no less of my brave fellows. Ah, welcome. It's an honor to meet you in person. I was extremely impressed by your work with Kokosaburo. You're certainly some fearsome customers. You are Tayama, correct? We demand the release of our fellow samurai. Hey, that's Mr. Tayama to you! Watch your mouth, punk! You want I should sell your girl to the whorehouse? <laughs> Please excuse my men. They can be a bit hot-blooded. If they lose their heads, even I can't rein the men. <laughs> we do not intend to dally here long. Release our fellow and we will go. Sure, that can be arranged. But first, you'll need to do me one more favor. What? Yeah, I've been hearing you were marching through my Tokyo like you own the joint. And you busted up a bunch of my boys in the process. But we'll call it even with this. Ugh. Ow! Wait, my arm! Stop it! They were the aggressors in this instance. What utter villains. What say you? Are we to stoop to favors for the likes of him? Then it's a done deal. I want you to do a little charity work on behalf of the people of Tokyo. Kill Yuriko from the Ring of Gaia. The Ring of Gaia? That's Kaga's. Oh, you know them. Great. Saves me the trouble of explaining. Yuriko's in charge of the Ring of Gaia. Yuriko is trying to steal our generator so she can hog all the electricity to herself. What a bitch. Am I right? <laughs> generator? The Yamato Perpetual Reactor. It generates all the electricity in Tokyo. Hey, show him the video. Books and movies. 
movies here. It's like a wonderland. You take even innocent children as hostages? Whoa, whoa. Hold on there. We're raising these kids, the future of Tokyo, right here in this building. You see how Tokyo is, right? The way things are going, humans will kill themselves off. That's why I've stepped up as leader to build a utopia. A utopia? But if the electricity goes, Tokyo's future goes with it. I'm sorry for that, but we have our own pressing concerns. There's no time to aid in your utopia project. Yeah, I heard from this guy here that you're looking for the Black Samurai. Then that's another good reason to check out the Ring of Gaia. What do you mean by that? The Black Samurai is a woman who uses demons, right? So if she ain't one of us, and she ain't one of you, the Ring of Gaia seems like a pretty good suspect, huh? I'll register that as a new quest on the list. Do you think it's safe for us to trust the Ashurakai? I can see no other way so long as they hold their hostage. I must confess, I'm intrigued by this Ring of Gaia. Investigating them suits me perfectly. The Ring of Guy is strict about who they let into their headquarters. You should pose as new applicants. And say hi to Yuriko for me. Congratulations on completing the quest. Stop there, young man. Back there is the sacred ground of the Ring of Gaia. Not just anyone can enter. You should be on your way. <laughs> well, you're honest. I'll give you that much. How about I test you to see if you have what it takes?
most unlucky for you. just be a young man, but I can see you've been through hell. Your sword work was top-notch. All right, you can pass. But you won't be able to kill Lady Yuriko like that. Why don't you build some strength with us? Go take the entrance test at Tsukiji Hongarji. Looks like the quest is going well. Burrows. your pleasure. Still got... You still got business. Make sure you bring more maca next time. Keeping up your training? Thank you. 
the quest is going well. Activating scan mode. This is the Ginza terminal. I'm going to run the terminal. This is the head temple of the Ring of Gaia. You here to join the Ring too? <laughs> there have been so many of you lately, it's been a headache keeping track of you all. You probably only want to ride the Ring of Gaia's coattails. Go back to the underground districts and wag your tails for Tayama like the dogs you are. I'm no one's dog. Oh yeah? Then take our entrance test. We'll see whether you've got the stones to back up those words. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. I sent the electronic application to your terminal. Sign it, and bring it to me. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. I've registered this one as a challenge quest.
don't need to say it. I can tell you signed the application. So let me explain how the test goes. The idea is to reach the main temple before this candle burns out. The candle depletes as time passes during battle. Also, this ain't a group effort. You all gotta take it separately. I would rather not, but for the sake of our captive fellow, I wish you all good luck. May we meet again in the main temple. It's your turn. Head for the main temple. I've set it up so that you can see the status of your candle. It'll be visible when you open the menu and during battle. Show them what you've got, Master.
careful.
Burroughs. I see you've come this far with the flame intact. The main temple you're looking for is right in front of you. But if you want to pass, you must prove your strength to me. Are you ready? You must use all your might to defeat this demon. If your might is not enough, then there will be nothing left but bones. I shall gauge your true power that shines only on the verge of death. Well done. That makes four of you. Samurai from the firmament. It seems you are a force to be reckoned with. Now proceed. You arrived. I managed to scrape by as well. It seems we all made it. The test is at an end. You have all passed. You won't be needing those candles any longer. The skills you display today were a marvel to behold. Though, of course, we expect you to be that strong. Otherwise, you would not be allowed near Lady Yuriko. You were sent by Tayama, yes? What?
Damnation, I think I fractured my bottom. Uh, are the rest of you unhurt? Ouch. Yes, I'm still in one piece. Normally, those who threaten the Ring of Gaia are put down by force. You have Lady Yuriko to thank for this mercy. Now, travel through the passage of ethics and meet Lady Yuriko. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. She knew our motives, yet she still invited us in. But will we be allowed to leave? Have faith, Isabeau. All shall be well. You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. Now, for the question. You are the ruler of a country. You have called upon your people to gather en masse for a game. Among those who attend, one is extraordinarily tall. What would you do? If you would exclude this person for the sake of fairness, go right. If you accept that one's height is merely a part of their individuality and include this person, go left. But that's dead simple. A man can't help being tall. Of course you'd have to accept it. I'm going left. Hmm, but then it would be unsporting to the others for the heights to be so grossly uneven. I would go right. It's not an easy decision. Which would you choose? Would you go left and accept the person for who they are? Or go right and disqualify them for the good of all? You would allow this person to participate, regardless of their individual height? our question you will have two choices the answer will reveal your inner self now for the question you are the chief of a village which has lived the same way for 1,000 years one day a man visits your village carrying with him revolutionary technology. This technology would greatly ease your people's lives, but would also do away with their current lifestyle. What would you do? Go right if you would expel the visitor in order to preserve the lifestyle you have always known. Go left if you would welcome the visitor in order to adopt his technology for your village. Hmm, new technology is quite tempting. But I do not think it worth upending the stability of a culture and causing confusion amongst the people. I shall go right. Don't be so hasty, Jonathan. Give the matter more thought. Life for all the villagers would be improved. One must take risks in order for one to see progress. Word up to me. I'd go left. Another difference of opinion. Is Yuriko attempting to drive a wedge between our band? I hesitate to be the one to decide this time either. Which would you choose? Right to protect the traditional way of life? Or left to welcome the new technology?
You would welcome the visitor to usher in the new technology? You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. This is the final inquiry. Now for the question. The love of your life lies in front of you unconscious. There is no hope that they will ever wake again. You have already tried many things to no avail. What would you do? If you would care for this person for the rest of your life, go right. If you would stop all treatment and allow this person to perish naturally, go left. I think it would be best to let them die. But on the other hand, it's someone very dear to you, isn't it? <sighs> Damn! That's a choice I can't make. We are in agreement on that point, Walter. I can't decide either. These questions are all so unpleasant. Which would you choose? Left? Letting your beloved die? Or right? Committing to staying at their side for the rest of your life? You would let your dearest beloved die a natural death? Do you see more clearly what kind of human you are now? <laughs> I didn't think that I'd meet subjects of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado here. You're the Black Samurai! Why are you here? She truly still lives. <laughs> Enough with the formalities. We're all acquainted with each other, yes? So you can call me Yuriko. Yuriko? You're Yuriko? Wow, that's a shock. Hmm, that means... Kill the Black Samurai and kill Yuriko. They're the same quest. <sighs> Tis an ill twist of fate, our task in Tayama's wish is dovetailing so. Are you going to kill me, the way Tayama and Gabby coerced you to? And if not, what will you do? <laughs> I am Lily. I have observed this world from before the birth of your species. The Black Samurai. She's a demon. Then it was by a demon's hand that the foul books were carried into our kingdom. You are a monster who reduced our countrymen to base demons. And I shall have your head for it! Since you seem incapable of subtlety, let me explain something to you. It wasn't me who changed them into demons. It's the natural result of humans suppressing their desires. Do you mean to say that humans and demons are the same in essence? Exactly. It isn't demons you should hate. Pay no heed to this nonsense, Isabeau. Listen, children of man. You have witnessed it. You have seen yourself the emotions of the people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado as they became demons. Those absurd rules created to bend the ignorant to their will. That is what you humans should reserve your hatred for. Absurd rules? I simply want to restore the human world to its natural order. 
A state unbound by the whims of rulers, where the strong can shape the world as they please. Tokyo. And of course, your eastern kingdom of Mikado as well. I'll waste not one word rebutting this blasphemy. I shall smite you now! Hold, Jonathan. Yuriko, or rather, Lilith, this talk of a world which the strong can reshape as they see fit. In such a world, provided that he had the strength, could a casualty do as he pleased? Walter, I warned you against allowing her words purchase. We are here to strike her down. Demon, prepare yourself! Walter! I said to stay your hand, Jonathan. What? Lilith, this world, how would you bring it about? You have an important role, not as samurai, but as humans. We have a role? First, gain knowledge and wisdom. You know of the hills in Roppongi, yes? There is a facility below ground there, run by Tayama. Go and have a look for yourselves. You will see there what true evil is. But if that doesn't sway your opinion, then I'll be happy to stand as your adversary. My friends, I am sorry, but refrain from killing Yuriko until I return. Walter, what are you saying? I must know what this true evil is and what true role we humans have to play. Those are lies from the honeyed lips of a demon. Humanity has no true role. In all my 18 years, there's one thing I've never once considered. Changing the world. I'll register that as a new quest on the list. We might cross swords with one of our fellows. That Walter! Burroughs.
Walter! Huh. Hi there. You're not all together today, huh? Did you have an argument? What were you discussing with Walter? Out with it. He wanted to go under Rapungi, so I told him about someone who might know how to get there. He's a guy called Fujiwara in Shijuku. Okay, I'll be going now. Oh, that's right. If you run into him, tell him that Florida is a members only cafe. That matchbox proves you're a member. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. You find him. What's your pleasure? open we both see each other alive again Now, you must hear me out. I'll ask one question and then leave peaceably. Proof of membership. Are you deaf, man? I, I only need a moment of Fujiwara's time, please. Proof of membership. Walter, so he did come here. Are you going to go to Walter's aid? Truly? Sorry, sir. Please, come in. Hi there. You're... Why the devil are you here? Are these the people you were talking about, Hikaru? They sure are. So, Medusa still being alive was one of the Ashurakai's lies after all. We already know about most of your accomplishments. You passed through Naruku, right? Did you hit up the terminal in there? How do you know about that? You mean the place above the firmament, the eastern kingdom of Mikado, right? I know a little. We were still young then, weren't we, Skins? 
Thanks to those days, I'm better at stitching up wounds than your average sawbones. Pardon, but I didn't come here to make idle conversation. I want to talk with Fujiwara. You want to go below Ropongi, right? Fujiwara's me. Oh! Uh, g g greetings! I don't mind giving you some info, but do you mind if I speak my piece a little first? Like, I'm curious. You people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, and those of us here in Tokyo, do you think we could ever coexist? That's a poser you put to me so suddenly, but uh, I don't think it out of the question. Speaking purely from intuition, I feel like it would be a difficult proposition. What about you? Do you think we could live in harmony? Hmm, I see. Fujiwara, sir. Could you kindly elaborate on the purpose of the question? You shouldn't believe that everyone living in Tokyo now is happy with their situation. Life here takes a lot out of you. A lot of people are searching for somewhere to live in peace. What do you suppose those people will do when they hear about you? They're all set out for the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. Naraku will be flooded with humans from Tokyo. What are you driving at? I'll be frank here. We're seriously considering emigrating to the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. What? You'd come to our kingdom? <laughs> but we don't plan on just barging in like a bunch of barbarians. Yeah, I'd rather not add to the collection of scars on my face. When the time comes, could you tell the leaders of your kingdom about us? The time? Let's leave it at that, Fujiwara. They're here for a reason. Ah, of course. Sorry. Below the hills in Ropongi, right? Below the Midtown Center in Tokyo is a way to get to the underside of Ropongi. If you want to get under the hills, you'll need to go through Midtown. But Tayama set a demon at Midtown to block the way. Be careful, Samurai. <sighs> Walter, let us go there together. The demons of Tokyo are too much for one man to handle alone. I suppose.
The magnetite you bear points toward the star of destruction. At last, one has come whose karma is worthy of a duel to the death. In the human world, there is a saying, ignorance is bliss. To distance the people of my country from the cruel truth, that is the part I play in defending this land. But you would go beyond. The stars tell me so. Then we are fated to duel to the death. Let us see if you can bring Tenkai to his knees. It begins! To live and to die are one and the same. Death and life are fated from the beginning. The heavens, the earth, the people. This is the rift with the three knees. The one who comes and goes. He whose name is yours. Let us fight to the death. Unlucky for you. You are another who fights for Tokyo. You harbor some idea within your heart. Then I ask you, what sort of city is your ideal Tokyo? Then let us see how that aligns with your actual outlook. I see. You do indeed live as one committed to both order and freedom. Your ideals and actions are in harmony. That then is the root of your power. it thus.
ignorance is bliss, and yet you strive to pass here. Then I ask you this. When you learn the truth of the Asurakai, what do you plan to do? Will you reform it and cause chaos? Will you sustain it, thereby preserving order? <laughs> Just as I would. That's right. Even if it causes chaos, if there's a wrong that needs to be addressed, we must do so. Else we're as good as corpses. The human world is constantly in flux. That is another truth. The truth is much cooler Do not forget that resolve. Most unlucky for you. for you. The glimmering of the stars begin to move. The chain has been broken. <laughs> That's right. Yes. I have been waiting for this. I can hope now. The next time, I am privileged to serve. Were those last words he spoke he sounded grateful it's just as i was unable to choose the sort of family i was born into once summoned demons can't pick their master humans and demons are the same eh? that may have been aptly put you are being taken in by lilith that is the only reason her words seem to you to have merit you wouldn't understand you're a luxurer but you know of which I speak, yes? Y you see? <sighs> I am sorry for all of this.
very well. Hmm. That's right. Demons! Demons are a bit different.
see an opening. you go.
sorry. I'll leave the rest of you.
Goes there. I thought I told him to kill any vermin who scuttles in here. Foolish sons of man. I shall direct you to hell. This shall be glorious. The last time I slaughtered the unclean ones was in the ancient days. How shall I cook you? I jest, Samurai. I am a fellow of yours here in Tokyo. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Mastermind. A messenger of the powers that be from the Kingdom of Light. Revered Angel, it is a blessing to know that an ally such as yourself is here in Tokyo. Can you accompany us? Alas, I cannot. I am not to leave my post here. I must be vigilant for intruders from the Ring of Gaia and those who would steal the red pills. Red pills? Yes. Your objective is deeper within, correct? If the red pills are lost to us, all hope of order in Tokyo will be lost. And what would you do if we were dogs of the Ring of Gaia? <laughs> You have already bested Tenkai. 
I have no desire to be struck down. Besides which, if you raise havoc here, Tayama will know. This is a rather shady character. I'd want to inspect the halo before I took him at his word. So you wish to go on ahead? I shall remove the barrier. Please do not let on about this to Tayama, my fellows. I'm carrying out the Lord's will in my own way. Looks like the quest is going well. I still. Burrows. are a bit different. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dear me. May I have a word? Do you smell something? Now that you mention it, there is a sweet scent in the air. I know we'll be in severe trouble if we're caught, but uh, I feel oddly lighthearted in spite of myself. For it now. Oh, you're the next shift. Is it harvest time already? So, are you guys new? 
I know it's tough at first. Here's key number two. Don't lose it, or else you'll get buried in paperwork. Whew. I can finally take off this mask. All right, the rest is yours. Fortunately for us, the guard was a simpleton. What is this harvest he spoke of? Let's try again from that last part. And go! I'm gonna study hard and make Tokyo great. There are so many books and movies here, it's like a wonderland. Oh, good, very good. Oh, you're all so smart. I'll give you some candy later. Huh? Oh, it's the shift up already? <laughs> I love working with these kids. The time just flies on by. Here's key number three. Remember to give the kids their snacks. Oh, and don't forget to sprinkle sugar on them. See ya! Why are there children here? I'm going to study hard. There are so many books and movies.
Unlucky for you. Drat the luck. A guard here, too. Ha! Ah, you're not supposed to talk to me when I'm harvesting. Didn't you read the rules? If the syringe accidentally pierces the brain, the seedbed we spent all this time raising will be going like that. Seedbed? Hmm? Hey, who are you? You're from the Ring of Gaia, aren't you? Me. 
He's keeled over. Hmm? Huh? It's a card key. This one says four on it. We'll be taking that. What was the masked man doing to the man sleeping there? I'm going to study hard. 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 I'm going... He is clearly a grown man, yet he sounds a trifle naive, don't you think? shipment wasn't due until a little later. Whatever. You performed the harvest properly, right? What do you intend to do with that? Turn it into red pills. Duh. Don't bother me. Hey, you weren't slacking off, were you? Is this all the brains you got today? Brains? Uh, are those brains? Weren't you paying attention during orientation? We raise the people we take from the underground cities here, and when the time comes, we harvest their brains. Specifically, their neurotransmitters. We suck them out every day at the scheduled time. 
That's the stuff we make the food for the demons with. You know, those red pills? That's what this whole human farm is for. Get it? That's nauseating. I cannot believe you can be so casually inhumane. Ugh, this is why I hate newcomers. Get used to it and get to work. If we're late, Mr. Tayama will be on our asses. It's getting about time to clean up the feces of the seed beds. Don't slack off. This, then, is what Lilith wished for us to see. Congratulations on completing the quest. Imagination, or is it growing more pungent? Come to mention it. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> A demon! That sweet smell is the product of this demon! Quickly! Prepare yourselves for battle! <sighs> Walter? Yeah. I'm Walter. I'm the son of a fisherman. But I'm scared of fish! I must go tell everyone! <laughs> what? Oh, how cowardly of you, dashing off without me! Then I'll admit something as well. In all candor, I am a cat. Meow. This floor is so deliciously warm. What is happening? Is this the work of that demon? Uh, it's always like this. Demons here, demons there, demons, demons, demons. It's also... Demoning. <laughs> <sighs> Are you awake? Thank heaven, your madness was quite the sight to see. Doffing your pants and then doing that thing with your nose. <laughs> That's quite enough. Good morning, samurai. I see you enjoyed the scent of my Yasuo Magatsi. Oh, and I'll be taking these back. What were you doing down there? Yuriko's still alive and kicking. That Yuriko told us a curious thing. She said that you're the true evil. And I understand what she meant after paying your utopia a visit. Being labeled a true evil by a demon. Quite an honor, wouldn't you say, Mr. Tayama? By a demon? Y you mean that Yuriko's a demon? What group's she from? What the hell is Mastema doing? 
I see. That bitch. You don't know. You didn't see how horrible it was in Tokyo when the firmament appeared out of nowhere. You seen the busted up buildings all over the place. That wasn't all demons who did that, you know. Most of it was humans fighting over food and electricity. When people get backed into a corner, they stop thinking about the consequences. They don't think twice about their fellow man when their own lives are on the line. The unclean ones. They're like demons. That's a good example, kid. Humans who think of nothing but themselves are exactly like demons. You're right. Humans are weak. That's why I built my utopia. Why I'm protecting them from the demons. Humans are weak. Face the facts. We have to live with the demons. We can't move to anywhere else. So if we're going to survive here in Tokyo, we need to help each other out. I keep the demons sweet with red pills for the sake of everyone living in Tokyo. We give demons food, the red pills, and they promise not to eat humans. It's a reasonable system, wouldn't you say? We patrol the streets so the demons don't get into the underground cities. The people underground don't know anything about it, so all they do is complain to us! If everyone had humanity's best interests in mind like I do, maybe we wouldn't need the red pills. Sadly, there are people in this world who can't do that. So, we need to get those people to make their contributions to Tokyo some way, right? And thus the people of the underground cities become fodder for your red pills? We make sure to set them up with the kind of life they couldn't dream of down underground. And we always hold the highest respect and appreciation for their noble sacrifices. Huh. Was that intended as a joke? So the masses live on the backs of the minority? That's quite the utopia you've built. Have you ever considered how your sacrifices feel about this? <sighs> If you don't got the guts to get your hands dirty, you don't get to say shit about it. I'll let you go today. But don't forget to kill Yuriko. Nobody's going to protect the human world but humans. You got that? I won't go easy on your asses next time. <clears throat> Hold on! My neck! Stop it! Are you satisfied now, Walter? I can empathize. I truly can. I loathe that Tayama as well. But task at hand for us now is to eliminate the Black Samurai, Lilith. <sighs> is killing Lilith truly for the best? What? You... Have you taken leave of your senses? Um, um... <clears throat> it has been some time since we last spoke, young Samurai. It is I, Abbot Hugo. I have a message from a certain... someone. Return to the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado at once, and travel to Shin Duke. That is all... from me. Very well. Jonathan, Walter, let us focus on our duty. Hmm. Odd, though. Shin Duke. What task could await there, at that nominal holy land? It is miles from anything. I'll register that as a new quest on the list.
my demons! Burrows. your blood. What? Here's open. We both see each other alive again. Shibuya Terminal. Look. Oh, so that is the Holy Land. I've heard tell of it, but this is the first time looking upon it with my own eyes. It has been some time, blessed samurai. Come, let us hence. Are we to go inside that sort of cocoon thing? My goodness. It's like a beehive in here. I would like to introduce you to someone. You will soon be in the presence of the new leaders of this kingdom. Introduce us? What's going on? Mr. Gabby? I am Michael. 
Your deed at Shinjuku National Park was a grand accomplishment. I am the Herald, Uriel. And I am Raphael. And I, I am not Gabby, but in truth, the Herald Gabriel. We four Heralds shall act as the new leaders of this kingdom. The legendary angels are here before us. Is this a dream? Under the order of our Lord, I have watched over humans living in this land as Gabby. However, as time passed, the people of this kingdom became warped. They speak the Lord's name in vain to trumpet their authority and manipulate the people to their will. Our Lord is saddened by this state of affairs. We have sifted through the humans here and once again cleansed the land of those who were found wanting. Every human in this land was created by our Lord. There is no life except by following His will. The people of the new Eastern Kingdom of Mikado will pursue the true way with us. The true way? What could that be? Lilith said something similar, didn't she? Oh, that's right. This would be an opportune time to tell them about Fujiwara. You need not tell us. You must not succumb to the temptation of filth. Those trapped in Tokyo are the tainted souls who were not chosen by our Lord. They are forbidden to live in this land. If they attempt to enter this kingdom, then we shall once again eliminate them. What do you mean by eliminate? Surely you jest! Stop it, Walter! I shall repeat myself. For the sake of rebuilding the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, kill the Black Samurai. That is all you need concern yourself with. It has been decided. We are Samurai of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. Our role has not changed. Let us go to Tsukiji Honganji. There we shall finally strike down the Black Samurai. I won't raise a hand against Lilith. Walter! It matters not that I am a Samurai. This is my stance as a human being. The new Eastern Kingdom of Mikado is no better than Tayama's Utopia. Both are ruled over by revolting dictators who care for nothing but themselves. Through my missions as a samurai, I've gained knowledge and wisdom. I've learned to doubt. How lamentable! I want to change this rotten world to one where the strong can shape it as they please. You are throwing your lot in with a black samurai? Is that what I am to understand? You dare insult the souls of those who became demons because of her? Jonathan, calm down! After I pack my things, I'm going to Lilith's. I'll be at the residence hall. If any wish to come with me, you may meet me there. <sighs> so be it. Then we alone shall go to Tsukiji Honganji. Wait. Isabeau, not you too. No, it, it isn't that. I am merely worried for Fujiwara and Skins. Even if we send no word to them, I fear they will attempt to enter the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. And I cannot simply let them die. But at the same time, I don't have the words to talk them out of it either. I need time to think upon what is the best course for everyone. My apologies. We are samurai, sworn to protect this kingdom. It is our duty to protect today, so that the people can see tomorrow, as they always have. What profit is it to plunge the world into chaos? Neither the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado nor Tokyo must change. I therefore pledge to smite Lilith, to restore the world to its former order. I pray that you will accompany me in this quest. I shall be waiting at the entrance of Naraku.
Congratulations on completing the quest. I had a feeling you'd come. I can understand how confusing these very different opinions can seem. But let us say a new world was to be forged. What do you think would result? You believe that a leader with neither experience nor deeds backing him up could create a world for the people? Do you not see how the people would descend into a state of chaos as you rebuilt everything from bedrock? Does it not seem to you that Lilith spoke such tempting words? Only to laugh at seeing us panic? Do not be so swayed by the concept of reform that you are blind to reality. My friend, let us go together and destroy Lilith, the root of this evil. I see. So you have sided with Jonathan. I saw you making for the entrance to Naraku and I assumed. But I cannot go with you. There is still much that I must think about. I shall pray for your safety. <laughs> How pathetic of me, <laughs> weeping openly. I am not fit to be called a samurai. So long, Mr. Tayama sent us instead. You can't get in from the front, but under the bench, there's a manhole. Open it, and a hidden path.
That's a new quest. Demons are a bit different. Where is Lilith? Pathetic fools who cannot comprehend Lady Yuriko's wisdom. You are fighting the wrong people! is a samurai skill. You have so much power, and yet, why do you side with authority? Now go, and learn for yourself the profoundness of your error.
Lilith, where has she gone? Master. Burrows. You flies who hound Lady Yuriko's steps will go no further. Do you not want the knowledge and wisdom your ruler has kept from you? But I suppose an insect could never understand. I can do anything for the sake of Lady Yuriko, such as crushing a pair of flies. demon ahead. Do you want to go on? You. What do you want with me now? I heard the story from your friend. You really couldn't accept my ideals? Lilith. The Black Samurai. All the regrets of those you beguiled into abandoning their humanity. All the grief you have caused me by tearing our friendship asunder. I shall quell it all here. Prepare yourself, witch! I showed you the unworthiness of your rulers, but it seems you'd rather live as their slave. You son of man. They who have debased themselves as the tools of an arrogant god. I shall show you the power of demons, the part of you that you deny. Perish in my bosom. 
I'll free your souls from pain. I've neglected my training. because I want to change the world. Now, let me see that hatred in your face. Let it heat your blows. What a filthy smile. It reeks of God's hypocrisy. Wipe it off your face at once. Don't look at me with those empty, rotting eyes. in battle. You feel it, don't you? The thrill of combat. The rush of power that surges from within. Are you saying you have given up both your mind and body completely to God? How hideous. Why do you think God created you? What? To use you as tools. You have been nothing but God's slave since you were born. I won't be swayed by this blasphemy! That's why I gave you knowledge and wisdom. That is where the power to break the fetters of slavery lies. So that you may recover the instincts you have long suppressed. The demonic half within. That is nothing more than an excuse you demons trot out so that you are suffered to live. You destroyed our paradise with this poison dressed as knowledge. <laughs> Humans are truly pitiful.
It's all over. Indeed it is. Your fantasy of that vile world is finished. No. I am referring to you. But the gate to the expanse is being opened as we speak. By a youth armed with knowledge and wisdom. By the hand of one you know very well. Your friend. The gate to the expanse? Congratulations on completing the quest. And two at once at that. brings a tear to my eye, so to speak. We've defeated the Black Samurai at last. But the victory rings hollow. Those last words she spoke, the gate of the expanse, and her mention of our friend gives me grave misgivings. Tayama told us once that Yuriko coveted the generator, the Yamato Perpetual Reactor. What was Lilith's scheme? Register that as a new quest on the list.
Don't, don't hurt me, man. I surrender. I'll even lick your boots. Huh? Oh, don't scare me like that. I thought that kid was back. What happened? Some kid came out of nowhere and then told me to get out of his way. And I thought, hell no. I wasn't going to let his punk ass through. So I went after him. But he killed all my demons. He went straight in without even looking at me. He, w he was about you guys' age. But from the look in his eyes, he was anything but a law-abiding citizen. Sorry, Mr. Tyma, but I'm done. See ya. What's with you? That's right. I'll never let you go. Ha! My demons are a bit different. Very well.
laid you. Such is a samurai skill. Very well. That's right. Very well. I'll never let you go. Oh! 
Okay. Demons are a bit different. Demons are a bit different. Demons are a bit different. Your turn now.
my demons are a bit different. <laughs> My demons are a bit different.
Your presence here means that Lilith was not all she made herself out to be. Walter, what are you doing here? You came at the perfect time. I was about to open the gate to the Expanse. Evidently, this Yamato reactor can link our world to the Expanse. Lilith taught me that. I will summon demons, the incarnations of human desire, to this world. Tayama thought to stop me, so I blasted him along with his demons. When demons run amok over this world, human laws will lose their hold. In the new world, only the survivors, the strongest of all, can shape it as they see fit. That's the world I long to see. But that is horrifying! It will cease to matter what Family One is born into. Only the powerful will be respected. That will be the new way of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. In this kingdom, there will be no one who suffers as Issachar did. You mark me, yes? As another casualty. What are you saying? Jonathan, this is reality. It may be hard for one who has had such a comfortable life to grasp. <sighs> but no matter. I never expected my choice to be a popular one. Tis the price I pay for going my own way. Well then.
The gate has opened. Upon receiving knowledge and wisdom, the atom that learned desire has opened the gate once more. We ask the mitochondria within you. Have you ever given thought to why humans are born? Why the world exists? A single atom's revolt will damage no more than a single cell. The damaged cell will quickly be healed by the other cells. In order to sever this chain, there is a decision yet to be made. We shall show you the guideposts for that decision. You're awake. Thank heaven. Hoy, don't change the subject, Jonathan. My apologies, but you came to as we were having a conversation. So, Jonathan, Burroughs said that this is the counter demon force base, yes? Why the devil are we here? Why would I know that? I simply found myself here upon awakening. This is all because you opened the gate to the expanse, you know. He and I tried to stop you, but. Hold a moment. What was that you said? He was at my side when we activated Yamato together. But that can't be. He was with me. Impossible. He and I defeated Yamato Tokeru. Shh. We are going round in circles. I can feel the onset of a headache. First, I dreamt of a scolding from those white ones, and now this. It's all too much. I need a breath of fresh air. A dream of us scolding from those white ones? I had precisely the same dream. What are your plans now? Uh, I think I'll have a look outside. This is a bit late, but congratulations on completing the quest. That's right. Yeah! 